out here. Now Elk in trouble against Popo, but he's stacking up those feathers. The cloner, or at least the mimic. Now Yagao goes in over the wall. They've tried to find Lee, but they can't get him. Popo picks up one. There's two down for BLG. Here comes the Lambs or Spite, but it's not enough at this point. They're going to try to flash out. Ben. The Chakrams are stacking. He tries to go in. It's a triple. And Elk will decimate a population. Population EDG with a quad. both of these two teams and I think enabling them is also going to be crucial so much to talk about as we head into game but I feel like that is going to be pretty much paramount as well for this series and here we go our game number one of our best of five elimination on the line MSI on the line it's BLG versus EDG our fifth seed versus our second seed and we'll see who comes out on top who takes that leg up in game number one. With JJ he needs to get this mid-game going for himself because the LeBlanc needs to find an end. Yeah, definitely does. Now, Bin doesn't have Counter-Strike. Well, he does this have Leap Strike Flash. a little bit of trouble. I need to burn that Flash here in the end. Might save it. Doesn't wow. have that heal back. The Counter-Strike available. Not going to Flash Flash in the <gasps> end. No, JJ! That's a solo bolo for the best top player of the LPL, Bin. Oh, my God, Bin. I... The... The cone is the turn around of Counter Strike. It's mentioned did give uh, Elkanon on a potential window to get quite aggressive into Mako and leave a little bit of a chunk taken out. For the very least, Mako does have sustain in the Rakan kit, but with the aggression, returns more aggression on the side of Shun, and now they're efficient. They're efficient as well. And they on, are. They got the he's there for as well. Flash on to leave. He's still got the dredge line as well. He's going to lock in Mako, and that's two quick kill three for PLG. They're off to the races here now, Yamada. Oh, they're not letting the pace hold up at all. First, it's the top side out. Oh, for now. <laughs> Pinch just whack it away. I think for now, uh, BLG have a lot of priority in a fair amount of the lanes. Hex flash is uh -oh. short. Uh -oh. I don't think uh -oh. On has an out here. There oh. is the turret over the wall. They've got the lockdown. Blast Cone gets out. He's trying to get the edge, but JJ gets on the board for EDG. Yeah, a misstep there from On. Just feels like the BLG. The thing is, EDG are typically the ones that are point and center for these objectives. We see, you know, already they are trying to get some vision here. Contest over this engage from BLG. They got to be a little bit careful. On's getting engaged on so much. Shun getting low. That's the Lambs' fight down. On is gone. But here comes Elf with a lot of the damage. The Featherstorm aggressively. And Ben has arrived to get a kill himself. This is a big play. They're going to TP back over to top lane to cancel out all his push. But that's Dragon for BLG and the kill. Oh, that's this. Ten. Yeah, I mean, I kind of understand it because the control is so firmly inside of EDG's hands. Oh, They're finally here with the game. Yagao flashes. He can't get the dragon. He's locked up CC. Bin has arrived, but he's dicey. He hasn't decided if he wants to go in yet. But here now he comes with the concussion, and now it's on the lead. The kill they go right back on a shoot, but he pops the lambs just by elk. He's able to stack up a lot of these feathers. Bin takes down all on the side, and they can't even get soon. That's elk with another kill, and BLG come out on top. They might lose the dragon, but they get three kills for one. Yagal's the only one that dies, and that's because he went in so hard. Yep, yeah, but Shun wants another stack here, and this will be his oh, fourth. It's been applied. So it should be a big setup here. They're going to try to speed up, but Bopo being oh, there, okay. a bit dying. I just talked about him. He got cast a curse. The TP in the mid lane, trying to stop that TP, but it does go through. Yagal makes it, but the tower falls. Shun able to finally... Get Fofo, does get that stack, and BLG trying to respond after their mid lane tower got taken out. By that sequence of plays, it was a little bit disgruntled, but I think they will now focus their attention back towards the dragon. They gave up the last one, I think, almost a little bit unnecessarily, but contextually it made sense with how things played out on getting chunked out and just generally being second to that bottom side, having secured the Herald now. They're winging this death rush, JJ. Oh, they will get a catch out of here, though. He does have his clone. A lot okay. of that preemptive damage going down there. Leave a stack up to get to that Caliber Mala. A little bit caught out here. Now Elk in trouble against Bobo, but he's stacking up those feathers. The clone, or at least the mimic. Now Yagao goes in over the wall. They've tried to find Lee, but they can't get him. Bobo picks up one. There's two down for BLG. Here comes the Lambs or Spite, but it's not enough at this point. They're going to try to flash out. Ben. The Chakrams are stacking. He tries to go. In. It's a triple, and Elk will decimate a population, population EDG, with a quadra kill for the EDC and BLG. Elk, turn 
hands on the burners, and it's about the back end of that fight. All the members turn back around to deal with Finn, who's found the turnaround on to leave, but no one's hitting out as he pops the Feather Storm and just rips them to shreds. They'll get the Dragon as well off the back of it. BLG just decimate EDG. It looked so good for a second as well. They were fighting inside. That was a Penta. Oh, wait. He should that should have been a Penta. That should have. He just stole wow. that man's Penta kill. I, you know, I, you know, sometimes... Sometimes you question mark ping your uh, teammates. Maybe there's a oh. question mark ping coming in now, but they're TPing in. BLG want this. EDG have realized that they are the prey. They are no longer the predators, and they need to run away. JJ goes down. Shun gets another kill, and the rest of the team will make it out. The sacrificial lamb has been given over to Billy Billy, but so will the Baron if they're not careful. Staying up the Baron. Finn can bring multiple members down. There's only 45 seconds left, so I don't know how much this Siege is actually going to grant them, but oh, dredge line. <laughs> a little bit of a sticky problem there. Bofo's gone. Yeah. And now you don't have that mid lane pressure. You don't have the attempt of a little block onto any backline members. That immediately sees all that control gone. And BLG are taking down a mid in him. They might take that Ala here, who has to flash away. The jaws are closing quickly. The Agal says, let's go ahead and shaft those shut, as that's huge for the engage. And now the follow-up on the JJ. Bid gets another kill for himself. And that'll be an in-hit going down here. Elk wants some more. And the Feather Storm has wrought just that to EDG. I asked only 30 seconds ago, how much could they really get from 40 seconds of a Baron? And the answer to that question is the bloody game. Everything. They're going to take game number one. Uh, move up 1-0 in the series. We said the jaws close shot and it's a death roll. <laughs> My lead with him. Lambda's fight is going to keep Fofo alive, but BLG will go one up in the series.